what's happening guys? My name is Alex. Welcome back to a brand new Vegas 16 tutorial. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to add a drone footage. So let's say that you made a video with your drone and you're flying across, you know, the area. I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to edit that, how to make it look cinematic and everything like that. And I know you guys wanna see more videos on new features of Vegas Pro 16. For example, like the automatic motion tracking, the image stabilization, guys, all of that is coming soon. I just have to take a few days to actually, you know, understand that because this is a new feature and Vegas has never done this before. So I gotta also get to know that feature before I can actually make a good tutorial about it. So if you are excited for this tutorial, make sure to smash the like button down below. As always, subscribe if you're new, and I would say I will catch you guys, as always, right after the intro. Okay guys, now that we are in Vegas Pro 16, I'm going to show you guys exactly how to edit these drone videos. Now I want to give a big shout out to my good friend Tim Mort. He actually filmed and provided these clips for me and we're going to run a little contest for this. So because he provided me all those drone clips, I want to do something in return. So contest is basically everybody that's subscribed to his channel the link is in the description if you subscribe to his channel and post under his latest video Alex sent me and if you send a screenshot to me on Twitter at Alex Halford I will follow you back on Twitter and if you include your channel link I will even subscribe to your YouTube channel so if you want to get a follow or a subscribe for me make sure to subscribe to him send me the screenshot and I will follow you and subscribe back if you want to okay guys so we're in Vegas 6 and I'm gonna drag in two clips that Tim shot for me. Okay, these are the clips as you can see right now This is the first one and this is the second one now. This is just a regular drone video There's nothing special to it So what you can do is for example add in some color grading and that's what we're gonna do So we're gonna go ahead and first of all right click on the clips properties and we're gonna check disable resample and optional main stain aspect ratio okay so we have the less lag and we're gonna do that also for the other clip so the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna spice up these videos quite a bit so the awesome thing is that for these effects you don't need to install any external plugins you don't need the sapphire plugin you don't need the boris effects plugin you don't need any plugin you just have to download some free color correction presets externally and i made a video on how to install external plugins so i'll leave that at the end of this video so you guys know how that works so just check out the last part of the video how to install it and then come back to this part where we're going to apply it so if you click on the effects button right here as you can see those plugins are uh, not coming with any version of Vegas Pro. You have to install them manually. So we're gonna pick the turquoise glare with letterbox. If you click on add, click on okay, this is basically how it looks. But it's not really matching because the sun is red, but the kind of the tint is bluish. So we're gonna pick a different preset. So we can pick the red highlights. What we can also choose is the, let's see where it is, the red midtones and the red highlights. Those are two presets that are actually fitting this video because it's not really that obvious that you're going to apply a blue filter when the sun is red and orange and everything. That's gonna really mess up the saturation. So we're gonna also do it for the second one. So this is a little bit just of a regular clip, nothing too special, but if we click on the effects button right here and we can add in multiple ones. We can, for example, add in the After Effects color 3 childhood if you click on add click on okay as you can see this spices up the video quite a bit but we have so many different presets to choose from so we can also pick the film cinema 3d effect which is this one click on add click on okay it, it just you know spices up the video a little bit but i think you know for example this purple glare with letterbox click on add click on okay this looks very very nice that is basically how to edit drone videos and the only thing what you can do now is you can add in some you know music that really fits drone videos and that is basically how simple it is i mean it is just a drone video shot in the air so you don't need to go ahead and apply like a thousand of effects because there are just a few color correction presets that are already doing the job quite well so that is basically how to edit drone videos and obviously you can just make like little compilations of it for example like making this nice crossfade into the second clip well it's a little bit laggy because the quality is so high 
I just showed you guys like a uh, little ambient music underneath it. So I just also added it with this kind of preset. So this is the end result. So this is how to edit drone footage. We're going to first of all, in order to install plugins, presets, you need a preset manager. So pre a preset manager is basically a little program to download uh, the preset effects and to export it into Vegas. It will make sense in the end, obviously. So we're not going to go ahead and start in Vegas. We're not going to do something in Sony Vegas right now, but we're going to go ahead and go to our browser. I'm going to pick Chrome in my case. I'm going to go to Chrome. Let's see where it is. And as you can see right now, we are on a website that is called software informer now i want to mention that uh, usually you would get anything sony vegas related it's like a preset manager uh, the installer the manual uh the terms of service anything should be available on the website but as you guys know it is not sony vegas it's more it is just magic's vegas pro 14 so we're not going to go to the magic's website but we need the sony preset manager in order to do this so as you can see right now i'm on the website i'll also link in the description and we're going to go ahead and at the bottom we're going to make sure that we will click the right button because if you if you click right here you're probably going to install something else so as you can see right now it says uh, updated last on 26th of may the preset manager we're going to click on this green download button then we're going to download it and then i'm going to show you guys exactly how it's done so we're just going to download click on the download Aut automatic download is starting as you can see and then we're going to just go ahead and install the preset manager before we can actually install plugins it's pretty straightforward and the link will be in the description so as you can see right now at the bottom uh the installer is downloading so i'm going to just wait until this finished downloading and i'll catch you guys when this is done 12 seconds later all right guys so as you can see the it, it just finished uh downloading so right now we're going to just click on it and we're going to install right as you can see uh the sony preset manager it's going to be pretty straightforward as you can see uh, we, you also need dotnet framework at least version 3.5 in order to do this uh, so if you already have this you can just skip it if you don't have it make sure to download it first I'm just gonna skip it because I already have it and as you can see right now it says welcome to the preset manager 2.0 okay software installation wizard I'm just gonna click on next when agreed to uh, the terms of service everything like that we're gonna click on next uh, you can choose if you want to have install a uh, shortcut on the desktop I'm just gonna skip that I'm just gonna click on install right now it is installing as you can see right now it's going to be pretty quick depending on like how fast your computer is it already finished and as you can see right now we have the preset manager if i click on my uh, windows key if i type in uh, preset manager as you can see right now there is the preset manager 2.0 now, in order to actually install plugins, right now we just uh, completed all the steps we need to do. So we're gonna go back to YouTube for a second. Then we're gonna type in or search for a preset that you like. I'm just going to type in Sony Vegas color correction pack. I'm gonna click that one. Then as you can see, we have, well, there's my third tutorial popping up. That's really cool to see. We're gonna pick the second one. And right here, we are going to go to the description and we're gonna find the download link. As you can see right now, we have 
uh, the preset manager it's the first download preset manager in this tutorial on YouTube they already say they also say you know the, the preset manager is a must then as you can see right now you can download the pack right here it's Mediafire I'll include this one in the description as well because it has some really awesome uh, presets so as you can see we're on Mediafire I'm just going to uh, wait because it says preparing the downloads I'm click on the download button obviously and right now as you can see the preset pack is downloading it's finished downloading we're going to open this up in the folder and as you can see right now right here it says preset pack right now what we're going to do is we're going to extract it here and then what we're going to do is uh, open this up with the preset manager now as you can see we have this gray icon so that is unpacked so I'm going to press on my windows key I'm going to just open up the preset manager 2.0 and then this box is popping up now how this works is pretty straightforward we're going to go ahead and we're going to click on file we're going to click on open and right now we're going to look for uh, the Pro, the preset um, file that we just uh, downloaded it is in my images preset pack we're going to double click on it then as you can see it pops up in the list we're going to double click we're going to double click on effect chains and right here are all the effects included in the color correction preset pack uh, you can do this with any kind of uh, plugin you you want to install on vegas then we're going to select them all as you can see and we're going to click on this little small that says a uh, small icon that says copy to system if we click on here as you can see right now it is copy to vegas pro 14 so i'm going to shut down vegas i'm just going to just close it and then i'm going to just re open Vegas Pro 14 and I'll show you guys exactly that all the presets are in Vegas. As you guys can see, a Vegas is opening right now, so I'm just gonna wait until it opens. Okay, so now that we have Vegas open again, we're gonna drag in a random image. So I'm going to pick a solid color. I'm just going to drag in a red image. It doesn't really matter. Just, it can be a photo, it can be a video, what you want, what you guys, whatever you guys want to do. Then what we're gonna do, and you can pick uh, event pan crop, you can do that as well. And then we're gonna go ahead, this box pops up. Then we're gonna go ahead and click on on this little one that says plugin chain and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna look for all the plugins that we install so we're gonna go to then what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up the effects tab and right here it says filter packages and as you can see all the uh, presets are in here. This is everything we installed. Those are all the effects we have installed from the folder first. So this is how to do it, guys. So guys, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for the continued support. I will catch you guys on Monday with a brand new Vegas 16 tutorials, as always on the channel. If you have a tutorial idea, make sure to drop them in the comments down below and I will see what I can do. So that's it. Make sure to follow me on Instagram. It is at Alex Halfer for special updates and sneak peeks about new videos. So that is all I have for you guys today. So I will see you guys, obviously, next week.